Welcome back to King of the Mountain Season 4, Tournament Number 3. We've got Groups 3 and 4 of the qualifying round. Let's go ahead and take a look at Group Number 3. We've got Giorgio of G-Force Racing driving in the red Ford Sierra Cosworth. Oh, come on, 3D, not another one. I know, but it's a popular car. It's another Mustang. Oh, boy. Lindsey Grace of Greybeard Racing in the Ford Mustang SVO. Then look at this crumbed out car we have. The Leviathan. That's quite a name. Well, he better be a beast on the track. The Leviathan is driving in a Buick Regal GNX. And last up is Moboy. Hey, that's Moboy. Moboy driving for Little Chicken Motorsports in the Chevy El Camino. A very nice shade of green on that El Camino. They're all lined up for the first of four races. The top driver in points advances on. We've got two Fords, a Buick, and a Chevy. Bring on the chaos and carnage. Hopefully we don't have any issues like we had last week with, well. The Mustang. Yeah. Right now, the Leviathan is out in front. Giorgio takes over the lead. Whoa! Oh, oh my! What happened? I guess we don't have to worry about that Mustang anymore. Giorgio now left all alone on the track. And this is an easy win for Giorgio, followed by the Leviathan. Lindsey Grace has went off the road in the Mustang. And where's Mo Boy? What happened to Mo Boy? Are you going to say his name like that all that's night? That's Mo Boy, 3D. Mo Boy. Well, apparently, that's a DNF for Mo. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, here we go. Here comes Mo Boy. Nice of Mo Boy to finally show up. My mama always told me it's better to be late than never. And speaking of never, there goes Lindsey Grace in the Mustang. A rough and rocky start, to say the least, for Lindsey Grace. Let's go to the replay to see what happened there on that turn. You can see right here where the cars merged together. Lindsey taking the high side of the turn and appears to have been pushed off by the Leviathan. The Leviathan out there doing God's work. Okay, shoving other drivers off the road is not an honorable thing. The Mustang, especially the Mustang SVO, has been proven time after time to be a danger to the public here in Race City. They had a few accidents, mistakes were made. We had fatalities. That's still unconfirmed. That makes the Leviathan like a superhero. He is saving the public here of Race City. Really, a superhero. Exactly. Okay, well, here we go with Race 2. Hopefully everyone stays on the road this time. Do it again, Leviathan. Leviathan and Lindsey Grace taking the highway. Giorgio gaining on the bottom. Leviathan pulls out in front, taking the lead. Giorgio in second place, followed by Lindsey Grace. Leviathan first through the turn, now through the garage. And this race will go to the Leviathan. Watch out for the Mustang. Followed by Giorgio and Lindsey Grace takes third. And once again, we are missing Mo Boy. Hey, there's Mo Boy. Mo Boy stopped way over on the interstate section of the track. I'm not sure if he's having car issues or if he got lost. Well, with the changes made to the roads, his GPS may not be working correctly. If you're in a race, you really shouldn't be relying on GPS. It's 2024 3. Times have changed. They certainly have. So far, that is one win for Giorgio, one win for the Leviathan. They are both tied on the scoreboard with eight points each. Mo Boy has two. And Lindsey Grace has two as well. It's not looking good so far for Mo Boy. This time we have the Leviathan and Mo Boy taking the high lanes. Mo Boy really having some trouble in that El Camino. I think the body of that car might be a little too wide. We got contact as Lindsey Grace overtakes Giorgio. Giorgio not letting up, takes the lead back. Lindsey Grace sneaks through as well. Giorgio through the last turn. And this race is going to go to Giorgio, followed by Lindsey Grace. Here comes the Leviathan and Mo Boy is stuck again. He was so close, he made it to the bridge. You know, I think you're right, that car is wide, and the wheels are really tucked into the body. That's really not a good design for racing. Well, it's not working out for my boy. Look at this, a great exchange here as the Leviathan passes up Giorgio. Giorgio stays right on the tail of that Buick, and right here sees an opening, pushes his way through. And then look at that sneaky move by Lindsey Grace in the Mustang, making that double pass. Hey, if someone else opens the door, you might as well go on through with them. Here's the score going into the final race. Giorgio in the red car on top with 13 points. Leviathan in the Chrome Buick has 10. Lindsey Grace in the Mustang has five, and Mo Boy has two. So it's gonna be a no for Lindsey Grace and Mo Boy. Yes, this is coming down to Giorgio and the Leviathan. And they're off for the fourth and final race. Giorgio in the red car on the top lane. Here they come to the merger. Giorgio makes it out in front. Leviathan close behind in second. Can he pass? No, he spins out. The Leviathan has fallen. Here comes Giorgio through the final turn, over the bridge, and this race will go to Giorgio in the red Whoa. Ford Sierra Cosworth. You see that Mustang was trying to hit somebody. I think it's actually a Leviathan in the Buick trying to hit someone. There's no one over there, 3D. Once again, we are missing Mo Boy, 
And there he is. You know, it's too bad that he finished the first race. Otherwise, we could have had a dirty sweep. That's not a record you really want to have. It is an accomplishment to be celebrated. It's more like a mark of shame. I disagree. It takes a special builder and driver to not finish a single race. They certainly are special. So there you have it. Giorgio will advance on in the tournament. Coming up after the break, it's group four of the qualifying round. Welcome back to King of the Mountain Season 4, Tournament 3. It's time for qualifying Group 4. Up first, we have Rowan of Uncle Elvis Racing driving in the purple Ferrari F40. Then next to him, we have another Ford Sierra Cosworth, this one driven by Psycho of Mountain High Diecast. That's a nice paint job. Then up next, in the Chevy Monte Carlo SS, it's Willie Make It of Willie Make It Diecast. I bet he won't. What? Make it. Okay, well, last up, we have Glitch of the Flat Rabbit Racing Club driving in that purple Chevy Camaro Z28. Flat Rabbit Racing Club in the house. Great car choice as well. Here we go. They're all lined up. Top driver in points moves on with Giorgio. Will it be the Ferrari, the Cosworth, the Monte Carlo, or the Camaro? I gotta cheer for the Camaro. Here we go. They are off. Rowan leading the pack in that Ferrari F40. They're coming to the merger. Psycho passes up Glitch. Glitch spins out. That Ferrari is ripping up the track. Rowan having some steering issues. Here comes Psycho. Makes the pass. Oh, oh here we go. And it's a fight to the finish. Oh, -ho. Whoa -ho. a photo finish for race one. Oh, there goes Willie Make It. I don't think he will, 3D. I don't think he will. We're going to have to go to the replay to see who won that first race. Look at this right here. Rowan has a nice lead, makes some mistakes on the turn. Meanwhile, Psycho handles it clean. Gains on the inside right here, makes the pass through the garage. Then he proceeds to block Rowan. That may have been a mistake right there, but I think he pulled it off and stole the win. A very competitive race, Ford versus Ferrari right here. Here it is from the finish cam, and it's going to go to Psycho in the Ford Sierra Cosworth. He got that one by a bumper. That's going to give Psycho five points. Rowan has three. Glitch in the Camaro has two, and will he make it? Nope. Has one. Here we go. They are lined up for race two. Psycho starting on the far left. Will he make it to his right? Both drivers will be taking the high lanes on this race. Let's see how Roan and that Ferrari does on the outside lane. Here we go. A close race so far. Glitch with a slight lead. Now it appears to be Rowan, followed by Glitch. Psycho with a pass over Glitch. The Ferrari leading them down. This time Rowan's clinging through the corner. Handles the last turn well. And that's a fast finish. 14.99 seconds for Rowan in the Ferrari F40. Cycle will finish in second. Oh, watch out there. Glitch gets stuck on the curb. Let's go to the replay on that race. Keep your eye on the blue Cosworth of Psycho. He takes advantage of the speed on that drop to pass on the inside over Glitch, securing the second place spot on this race. That win for Rowan will tie the score with Psycho. Both drivers have eight points each. Glitch has four and Willie make it. Highly doubtful. Has two. I think the problem with Willie is a lack in confidence. You can't come to a race at King of the Mountain asking if you might make it. Well, you got to know that you're going to make it. You got to believe that you're going to win. I don't think he's asking the question. That's just his name. First name Willie, last name Make It. Well, Willie needs to change it. Rowan once again out in the lead, but here comes Glitch on the inside with hey, the hey. pass. Nice move there by Glitch. It's a battle between the Camaro and the Ferrari. A fight around the turn, and Rowan takes the lead back. Oh, Rowan was just too much and for him. And there goes Psycho with another pass over Glitch. Whoa. Oh, my God. Goodness! Fatality. Finish him. I'm telling you, 3D, the Mustangs and the Ferrari gotta go. We can't exclude specific brands of cars. Look, if the name of the car starts with an F, it's gonna bring a fatality. I think that's an oversimplification. The of Ford Mustang. Fatality. Well, not all Fords, though, just the Mustang. The Ferrari F40. Fatality. We've only had one or two instances. Remember, with the Jimmy? Yeah, that's true. We should ban the F cars. What about the Fiat? They haven't done anything bad. Like the Fiat 500? Yeah, that little car wouldn't hurt anybody. Wrong, 3D. Fatality. You'll hurt yourself driving that little car. Yeah, that's probably true. Look at that dude flip. That was wild. And what happened to Willie make it? He flipped over all on his own. Willie, he really shouldn't be here. Be nice to him. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Willie's doing better than Mo Boy in the El Camino. Yeah, but Willie is still out of his league. Well, the medics are out there helping out the spectators. They're just taking their time to get to that guy. Here's the replay one more time from the finish cam. Rowan swerves to the left and then, wow. Thoughts and waivers to the fans in the front row. Yes, thoughts and waivers. Here's the scores going to the fourth and final race. Rowan on top with 13. Psycho has 11, Glitch has six, and Willie Make It has three. Willie Make It on his way to a perfect 
One point per race score. You gotta appreciate consistency. Here we go, Glitch and Rowan on the high lanes. Psycho moving fast underneath. Rowan passes up Glitch. It's a battle between the purple cars. Psycho's back there trying to creep up. Rowan with some trouble on the turn. Glitch makes contact. Look at Psycho for the pass. Psycho trying to beat Rowan to the line, but Rowan holds him off. Whoa, where's Willie Make it going? I don't know, that guy's wild. The win goes to Rowan. Wait, what's going on here? Are these guys squaring off? We may have some kind of conflict going on here. They seem to have chosen sides. Uh, demo derby time. This is not demo derby. I'm not sure what they're doing. Fight. They need to call fight, it down. Fight. Fight. And there goes superhero Susan. Oh, bringing down the tensions on the track. We do not need a fight or whatever those guys were planning to happen here. It was just about to get good 3D. We've already had several spectators hit tonight. We do not need more injuries or conflict or anything like that. There's nothing wrong with a little road rage. We're not trying to lose our permit to host King of the Mountain here in Race City. I get it. I just want to see one little smash, you know. There you have it. Giorgio and Rowan will be advancing on to the tournament rounds. Rowan with a time of 14.99. Giorgio with a time of 15.11. Hey, those are good times. We had some good racing. I even got to hit the fatality button. Hey, what more could you ask for? Road rage. We hope you enjoyed this race. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And we'll see you on, on the, the track. track.